How's it going everyone? My name is Otto from Vape Pros, and today I want to talk about something that's been really interesting to me, but I haven't had enough information and experience with it to really be able to give you a good rundown on everything about it. And today I want to actually try to talk about it a little bit, so let's go. Seven hydroxymetragenine. Where do I even begin? This has been a really difficult one for me because I want to get it right. I want to provide you, the viewers, and my customers with the proper, safe, and up-to-date information that I can. So I've definitely put this one off a little bit, especially after the reactions of a short that I did about it. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning, shall we? Mitrogena speciosa, more commonly known as kratom, is a plant native to Southeast Asia, the leaves of which have been used traditionally as a stimulant, analgesic, and treatment for opioid addiction. Kratom contains two primary ingredients, metragenine and 7-hydroxymetragenine. These compounds act on the brain's opioid receptors. 7-hydroxy, also known as 7-OH, is an active metabolite of metragenine, mainly becoming present in the metabolism when ingesting metragenine. Specifically, metragenine converts to 7-OH in the liver. This significantly boosts 7-OH as a pain reliever, making it substantially more potent than metragenine, despite being active in lower levels on the leaves. Interestingly, this compound is important to enhancing metragenine's pain-relieving levels by strongly activating MU levels similar to morphine. However, studies show that 7-OH binds to these receptors even greater than morphine, and along with opioid receptors, it's found that it binds as well to our dopamine, serotonin, and adrenergic receptors. And it's very important to note that this substance is not for beginners, or even low-level users of Kratom. I've only ever suggested this product to heavy opioid users that are trying to move away, or those dealing with extreme pain that cannabis and regular Kratom just can't help with. So let's continue, shall we? The effects of 7-hydroxy are quite interesting. I'll go through the reported effects and then talk about my experiences with different products. 7-OH effects include various pharmacological effects, including pain relief, as it's known for its analgesic effects by acting on MU opioid receptors, euphoria and sedation. These pain relieving effects at safe recreational levels can also include feelings of euphoria and sedation. And with my personal experience with 7-OH, I can attest to these claims, especially the pain relieving effects and euphoria. Now, I want to show how these products come as they have been appearing in a variety of different styles and packaging. Personally, I always stick with the tablets and the pills. It's just always felt safer and easier to dose. I've always had increased adverse effects when it comes to the liquids. It's just way harder to dose and you can take a little bit too much a little too quickly. These adverse effects include nausea, dizziness, and vomiting, and caused me to just completely knock out after taking a little too much. With the pills, however, this is exactly how I would explain it to my customers. Cut in fourths. Never start with half. Those increase the probability of adverse effects. We are trying to solve something, not create more problems, you know? And I do want to state that along with Kratom, but at higher levels, especially with the potency and power of 7-OH, comes the addiction and withdrawal effects. It has been shown that 7-OH has lesser withdrawal effects and is at lower rates of addiction than opioids, but for safety purposes, these effects can happen, especially in those at risk for addiction. Now, these products can and have helped people, but along with all these things, there are issues. It's about the safety and how you use them. I'll always do my best to be here to provide the most up-to-date and safest information about these products. We have and I will always test them so I can tell you straight up what's going on. If you have any questions about 7-OH and or are interested in learning more, come on down to Vape Pros and I'll do my best to explain everything we got. My name is Otto from Vape Pros and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye! I don't see man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh.